Hey, with Johnny Rivera. What's good, Johnny? Uh, not much. Just got just got done sparring. How was the work? Rounds. It was good work. Good work. Um, Paul, he a veteran, so it was good work. He, he, he's sharp. Do you still spar amateurs or most of your sparring is professionals? Um, the only amateurs I spar is high, high elite, top amateurs. Like if I go to Colorado, go spar with the USA team. Yeah. So I go, I go spar with people from US, Team USA. So I spar like high quality work. So I either spar pros or high, highly, highly amateurs. Who's some of the guys that you spar that's uh, pros? It's pros. I spar pro. I spar Paul just now. My first time sparring with that. I spar Danny. I spar. Scooter, a long time ago, I was like the back end for Scooter. I was like 14, 15. Mm. I sparred I spar Raymond Ford. And, well, I sparred a lot of pros, but that, that's the main ones I know right now. And I sparred Dynamite. Like, he helped me a lot how to, how, to, how to change my style from amateur to pros. So, What's the biggest difference between amateurs and pros? Amateur and pros. So pros basically is like... Um, you pick you pick your shots. Amateurs is more points. It's three rounds. It's a three round fight, so it's all hardcore action. You gotta win the three rounds. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it is. It's a short pace. It's a not. It's like so now I fight three minutes. So I'm fighting 13 minutes in total in the fight. And pros is different. You gotta take your time more. You gotta pick your shots better. You gotta um, perfect them. You gotta perfect your shots. Clean shots. What do you feel like this style is more suited, professional or amateur? Well, now it's professional. I got professional style now. Over time, you like changed it. Over time, I changed it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, you just got back from overseas. Yeah, I just got. No, no, I'm not overseas. I, I was overseas last year in Romania. I fought. Um, I fought in Romania. I fought somebody from Hungary and somebody from Romania, and I want to go down Romania. But now I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fighting in August in Germany, so I'm going overseas in, in August, August 14th to the 19th with, with Team USA. What is that like traveling abroad and fighting abroad? Um, it's a good experience. It's a good feeling. I know that um, I'm, on, I'm on the top of the amateurs right now and, and making my way to go fight in the pros. Is the Eastern European style a lot different from uh, American? Um, I, when I was in Romania, they, like, they didn't really, I just walked them down and just beat them up. But it's way different, yeah. It's way different. It was like upright. So you know. they, they always bounce. They, they bounce a lot and they like to keep their distance, but they like to lean back a lot and punch you with their with they lean backs and then they get out of there. How long does it normally take you to figure a fighter out? Um, depending on how good the fighter is. So the fighter, if, if he, if he, if I know that he's not on my level at all, I, I could pick it up easier and faster. But if he's more advanced, and, and it'll, it'll take a little more time. But I, I, I know I could adjust to any fighter. So now the million dollar question is: Olympics, professionals. Which That's route you going? Um, right now, I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going to be like in the, in the future. So no promises. But right now, what it's looking like is I'm on Team USA. I'm representing the youth division, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going. Um, I'm gonna be trying to go to the Olympics for 2028. Has that always been a goal of yours to win a medal? Yeah, it's always been a goal. It's always been a goal since I was a little kid. Always presented presented in school with my projects and all. But I wanted to do the 2024, but they changed the rule, so now I'm gonna do the 2028. You said 2028 Olympics? Okay. Now, what do you feel like you have to do in order to get the gold? Um, I feel like I just got to keep pushing myself, keep training, keep winning gold medals, win the Worlds, win the Pan Am Games, and then see where I go on from there. How good is Johnny Rivera? Um, I could be better, but I'm real good right now, like, real good. But I'm not trying to brag or do anything. Um, my talent speaks for itself, but, um, and my hard work speaks for itself. But for right now, how I look, I'm ranked number one in the country, ranked number one in the world for my weight and age, so as an amateur, so I'm one of the top amateurs. And right now, I'm looking real good, feeling real good, too. If, if Johnny, all right, all right so uh, this, is, this is a question I always have to ask, right? If you take away Johnny Rivera's best quality. Mm -hmm. what, what you mean by that? All right, like if you, you know, some guys are punchers. Some guys are really fast. Right. You know, some guys have, you know, IQ. Right. If you take away Johnny Rivera's best quality, how can Johnny Rivera win a fight? Well, oh, I got a lot of qualities, a lot of good qualities. I really don't know what's my best quality. I'm yeah. real good. I'm, yeah, my IQ, my IQ is definitely up there. But I got power when it comes to somebody in my weight. So like, usually kids can't take my power. So mm -hmm. if, they, if they were able to take my power away, it would be my IQ, my sharp defense, I, my defense. I trust my defense 100. percent So if it, they really can't take nothing away from me and still win the fight. But if you would take my IQ away. I would have to rely on power and just movement, have movement. And so you're a Swiss Army knife? Yeah. 
I could, I could switch it up. I could bang. I could work in the inside. I could work on the outside. My distance. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could keep my jab out there. I could, I could bang you out. But sharp though. I don't, I don't just be like, oh, uh, like sluggish like back in the mm. day. But, but yeah, I, I could do any, I could do it all. Okay. If everything goes right, where's Johnny Rivera five years? Five years from now, I'm um, scoping out a future Olympian. Five years from now, five years from now, 2028. So I'll be fighting the Olympics. And you'll see a gold medal around my neck. God willing. Okay. I like that at you. <laughs>